feeling tired and having problems with itching. It is so common and so general that it's really hard to pinpoint the cause for these symptoms. One way I like to go about these things is to make sure there is nothing dangerous or lethal or deadly that is causing these issues. And so today I would like to talk about one deadly cause for tiredness and itching, and yet, in most cases, a curable cause. You know, when you are a teenager and you have your first kiss, it is highly probable that you will contract a virus called the EBV virus. The disease that this virus is causing is called the kissing disease because teenagers usually have it. You see, that virus should not cause teenagers to die or something that serious. I mean, usually it could cause, for example, swelling of the lymph nodes or something like that, some general viral infection symptoms. But more importantly, that virus is associated with a more dangerous disease called Hodgkin lymphoma, and that is a cancer. Around 40% of Hodgkin lymphomas have been found to be associated with the EBV virus. This here is a Reed Sternberg cell. Groups of these cells distinguish Hodgkin lymphoma from other non-Hodgkin lymphomas. They look like owl's eyes, which is quite unusual. They look that way because those are nuclei inside of this cell. This cell has two nuclei. That is unusual for a human cell. Human cells usually should have only one nucleus, but these cells have two nuclei. And besides that, the clonal genome, viral genome, can be found in these cells. Hodgkin lymphoma also has the so-called Hodgkin cells. These cells, along with Reed Sternberg cells over here, exhibit these membrane proteins. These membrane proteins allow us to identify them through proper diagnostic methods. These are membrane proteins and each cell exhibits different configuration of these proteins. So for example, Reed Sternberg cells have CD15 and CD30. CD15 and CD30 membrane proteins. Hodgkin cells also exhibit a whole variety of different membrane proteins and these cells can also be seen in a histological examination. How else would we be able to paint them if we were not able to actually see them? But before we diagnose a patient with a Hodgkin lymphoma and before we use sophisticated diagnostic procedures, we have to assume that it is a Hodgkin lymphoma or it could be a Hodgkin lymphoma. And that's why we are looking at these other symptoms that might come along with tiredness and itching. We have to look at the other symptoms to understand should we actually do these blood tests and look at the lab results and the cells closely? We sadly cannot just randomly do all possible diagnostic te tests without proper indications. And so in this case, if the patient is experiencing tiredness and itching, we have to look for the swollen lymph nodes. Obvious regions we have to inspect are the lymph nodes of the neck area, for example, or 
inguinal region. Well, besides that, we need to look for these so-called B symptoms. They are somewhat common, actually very common in patients who suffer from cancer, and they include three things, night sweats, and fever, and weight loss, especially a combination of these symptoms. But if some of these symptoms is present with tiredness and itching, then we have to think about possibility that the patient is suffering from a Hodgkin lymphoma. Yet if none of these symptoms is present, you know, if we cannot find any swollen lymph nodes, if the patient doesn't exhibit any B symptoms, well, it could be that the patient simply does not recall his accurate weight. And not every doctor is skilled enough to easily recognize every possibility of a swollen lymph node. Lymph nodes exist all over our body. So we have to also consider the history of the patient, the clinical history of the patient. And if the patient actually has pain, has experienced pain, but not every pain, these lymph nodes that I have just explained should not be painful. They should not be painful. If they are painful, then it could be something else. But if they are not painful and swollen, well, that is an indication that the patient is suffering from a lymphoma. But what kind of pain is actually indicating the presence of Hodgkin lymphoma? Pain after drinking alcohol. And that is quite specific if it's together in the combination with other symptoms. Hodgkin lymphoma can be only diagnosed using proper diagnostic procedures and methods. If you want to know more about Hodgkin lymphoma, then go to our website, symptomsky.com slash help slash Hodgkin. But if you're a doctor, and if you want to make videos like these, then go to anatomsky.com. And both patients, doctors can subscribe to our channel and help us reach more people who might experience these symptoms.